Hi, Gary here with Automatic Door Hardware. What I'd like to talk about today is a the Horton C2150 electronic control on how to repair. Uh, the C2150 Horton control is used in the 2000 linear drive system. And uh, what, some of the things to look for on there would be if you go up to your automatic door and most automatic uh, Horton doors have uh, an LED light on the sensor and to look to see if that light illuminates as you walk up to the door. That light should be coming on when you're approximately four to five feet from the door. Check to see if it operates on both sides and when you step away from the door the light should go off. If, if that functions properly then at least you know that there's power to the automatic door. The next thing would be to go and look at the on off switch on the automatic door. It could be as simple as that that switch is off. If after you've uh, determined that the switch is still on and the door is still not functioning, the next thing to do would be to make sure that all panels are snapped in place properly. Uh, they have ball catches on them and it could be that they're partially released and the breakout switch is engaged and not letting the automatic door operate. And that's as simple as uh, snapping the doors out and then snapping them back into place, each active leaf and stationary panel. Uh, that oftentimes will cure it. And sometimes uh, if you can pull the door open manually and pull it shut and you don't feel any obstructions, it could be, if you did feel an obstruction, it could be that there's a rock jam down in the bottom guide. And that'd be simply to clear that rock out of there and then make sure there's no obstructions and then turn your door back on. Uh, if none of these work, the next step would be to go back to the circuit breaker and shut it off and wait, wait a bit and then turn it back on again and see if the door works after that. Uh, that should cause a reset on the door and possibly to get it to work. If that still doesn't function, then the next step would be to pull off the panel on the door at the top and take a look at the control. It could be that there's a burnt circuitry on that control box. And in that case, then you'd have to pull that control out of there and replace it with a new one. Uh, we recommend putting a version 11 control in there because that'll work in the, either the belt or the linear drive model. It doesn't matter which type of door system you have, it'll operate in all of them. Uh, if you don't notice anything burn or anything on the control, then the next step would be to check the fuses on your power supply. There are three fuses on there that could be blown. Uh, and if they are, then you can replace those fuses and then check for operation again. If the fuse, fuse flashes immediately when you uh, replace it, make sure you shut the power off the door when you're changing these fuses or you can get shot. Uh, if it does blow the fuse immediately, then it's most likely that the control is bad. Uh, if in any case, so we recommend having your automatic door inspected by a certified inspector at least twice a year. If after failing to come to any remedies on your auto door, we recommend calling an automatic door service company that's specialized in automatic doors and is certified and hopefully those tips will help you. That'll be it for today. Thank you.